Uh, so we gathered up everybody from the shop. Today's field trip was to go watch the Lost Speedways. Gosh, what do you call it? Went to see the premiere of uh, Lost Speedways. Premiere, Lost Speedways. Pretty cool. Got to watch the Myrtle Beach episode. It touched a lot of, I remember seeing Dale and Kelly racing the late model stocks there when we there were the super late models. And I seen Kelly Beatty at Myrtle Beach. I've been to Myrtle Beach. Uh, I worked uh, with Billy Bigley. Um, for a couple of years there it's just cool to be cool to have been part of it and then to watch this on that episode too it just hit home with me personally because that was like my first track from i went to the myrtle beach 400 for the first time that was my first time there when i'm working it was kind of neat to see dale's connection to myrtle beach to see dale's emotion and just brings that out in the picture um i kind of felt the same thing there was always special moments every time that we went there i would say probably the, the part that got me the most was the end with with Dale and Dale Jr. and like that just, oh man, that just got me. Seeing Dale Jr.'s emotion, you know what I mean? Seeing somebody else feeling the same way about the racetrack going away. It just brought back so many memories of like just being a fan and working here and just being at the track myself. And it's just like, man, like, it's making me tear up right now just even talking about it. Cause it's, that's a hard one. To, that's a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> to lose Myrtle Beach and the episode was fantastic. The history of it all. I think it's cool to watch, to hear the stories of the guys that race there, to kind of relive it. And you can see them, you can see some of these older guys reliving that, that time in their life, which we all know is hugely important. I think it really encompassed the history and the story and personal stories um, from Myrtle Beach. So I think it was a really great production. Dirty Mo Media did one hell of a job on us. I'll give it a 10-5. It was awesome. 10 out of 10. Yeah! Love it.